हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल स्टोनो फाइटर तो फ्रेंड्स अगर आप मेरी वीडियोस पहली बार देख रहे हैं तो मेरी नेक्स्ट वीडियोस के लिए मेरे चैनल स्टोनो फाइटर को अभी सब्सक्राइब करें लाइक करें और शेयर करें तो फ्रेंड्स आज मैं ए एस आर वी स्किल टेस्ट के लिए एग्रीकल्चरल मेटर प्रोवाइड कर रहा हूँ तो फ्रेंड्स बी रेडी फॉर इट टेन सेकेंड्स फाइव सेकेंड्स start it is a matter of pleasure to welcome distinguished members of the icar society esteemed members of the governing body and participants to the at the first annual general meeting of the indian council of agricultural research society i express my gratitude on behalf of the icar society and on my personal behalf to all the participants who have made it convenient to participate in this meeting despite their busy schedule and delhi's cold weather i am happy to see members who have come from the different parts of the country even remote areas and from the north eastern states the agm of the icar society should not be an annual ritual rather it should become an interactive forum where we share our views and experiences take stock of our performance and identify challenges that lie ahead so that deliberations particularly focus on our ultimate objective of furtherance of the agricultural growth and development in the country friends this has been a challenging year for indian agriculture due to delayed and deficient monsoon coupled with floods floods in parts of andhra pradesh and karnataka in recent months however i am delighted to say that icar responded to the agency and designed in time technology driven contingency plans which greatly contributed to protect the standing crops as well as mitigating the drought effects to minimize the adverse impact on kharif production sound and scientific location specific advisories were disseminated across the country to grow short duration rice varieties low water consuming crops and feed and fodder crops simultaneously movement of quality seeds was mobilized and coordinated across the country in coordination with department of agriculture government of india and state government authorities to ensure availability of quality seeds to the farmers on affordable price in view of the above steps have been taken to augment production and productivity of rabi crops to at least partially offset the losses in kharif acres under wheat winter barley rice pulses maize sorghum and bajra are being increased to yield additional production improved soil moisture due to late monsoon rains has brightened the prospects of rabi production in the entire country among rabi crops wheat contributes nearly 72% to the total rabi food grains production of the country however the crop faces newer challenges in the wake of water scarcity erratic rainfall and changing temperature regimes in addition to prevalent diseases and threat of new race of stem rust ug 99 
I would like to emphasize that small and marginal farmers are likely to be the worst sufferers of such challenges because the cost of cultivation is already high and even a slight reduction in productivity will adversely impact their income in real terms. Friends, I was a part of an international seminar on meeting challenges of global wheat production organized here last month as a tribute to the late Dr. Norman E. Borlaug, to whom Indian owes a lot for spearheading green revolution in the country. I felt delighted to observe the passion, zeal and commitment among scientists to meet the emerging challenges through collaborative research and their institutional support mechanisms. I am sure wheat will continue to play a central role in enhancing food security and alleviating hunger in India. Towards providing a scientific and technology driven thrust to agricultural development, ICAR has taken several notable steps and initiatives. Its efforts have resulted in several notable achievements. Crop improvement programs resulted in release identification of 131 varieties hybrids of major food crops for different agroclimatic regions of the country besides a few varieties in plantation and horticultural crops. A total of 7,340 tons of breeder seed of field crop varieties were produced and distributed. A drought tolerant horse gram mutant was released for the north zone in tribal dominated astern ghats of Odisha. Gene sources for resistance to UG99 rust with new genes have been located. The Pacific Rim Conference on Bacillus held here last month gave us a comprehensive picture of its status and potential of applications in the coming years. In our efforts at biodiversity conservation, fingerprints of 44 grab accessions of commercial importance were developed. The ICAR has also developed cost-effective amelioration technologies for water lost, salt affected and acid soils. A studies and modeling to assess the impact of increased carbon dioxide levels for example have indicated increase in the yields of wheat, chick, pea, green gram, Pigeon pea, soybean, tomato, and potato in the range of 14% to 27%. However, we also have a look at the possible impact on the protein contents that could be marginally reduced. In order to address the issues of impact of climate change on agriculture, a national institute of Abiotic stress management has been established. Further, two major institutions, the National Institute on Biotic Stress Management and Indian Institute of Agricultural Biotechnology, are in the process of establishment to address the impact of biotic stresses and harness potentials of emerging tools of biotechnology in agriculture. Stop.